Hi, today I'm gonna show you one product that is big part of my soldering pants. Chip Quick SMD Removal Kit. I, I have been using this for a long time. It was around 15 years ago I had my first electronics related summer job and they had these kits there and it's, it is really handy to remove SMD chips from boards. So as hot air is always an option to desolder stuff, it can be a bit tricky, especially if you have a lot of components on the board, so you're gonna desolder everything. So this example is not the best in a way that the border, uh, the chip I'm gonna remove, the, the board is actually empty, so it would be easy to use the hot air, but um, I'm, I'm gonna use this chip quick now because that's that's what I usually use. So this is the typical package. It sells for around 15 pounds or something, so it's not that cheap. But you actually you desolder probably 100, at least 100 chips with this this amount of of solder. And then it has flux and some. Um, alcohol wipes for uh, cleaning the board. So how it works, the whole thing is based on the fact that the melting point of this solder compound is very low. So when you you put that, you mix it with your normal solder there, it actually stays soft melt for couple of seconds so you, you you have time to go around put the solder everywhere and then just lift the chip away so you can do now you can put a little bit of uh, I think it's actually closed so I'm, I'm not gonna open this one because I have another flux here so gonna put a little bit of flux around it's not absolutely necessary it, it will mix anyway then this is quite it, it breaks quite easily so I, I kind of don't want to bend it too much but then you just start putting a little bit this stuff here around you don't want to put it too much because the absolute negative point of using this stuff that it's really messy so the less you have it the less you have to clean afterwards it's already quite a lot i put now so you just put here around try to kind of cover everything and now just start warming it a little bit round. Mm. So this is quite big chip, 64 pins, but it's getting off. All right. So the good thing is this one now now I haven't overheated so this relatively expensive chip and I'm gonna reuse it so that that's why I like this method and now we come to the negative part of this thing it's an absolute mess of this solar everywhere and the flux everywhere so you can use the solar wick to clean the mess But you're probably gonna need some flux there and then you're gonna make some extra mess and so then you just start kind of sucking the thing away. I'm not gonna clean this board completely because I'm not gonna use it anyway. But what I'm gonna use is actually the chip. So cleaning that is even more annoying, but it can be done. Um, so again, just put a bit of flux there. 
because otherwise when you're gonna solder it on the next board that that tin compound just stuck everywhere so just keep it still somehow but so it does get away quite easily the only thing is that then you just have the sticky thick layer of the flux stuff everywhere So, well, it's not completely cleaned yet, but that's how you can clean it and then just use the, I think you use this alcohol stuff or I use um, my partner's nail polish remover to, to clean the flux residual. So it's, it's a bit of a messy thing and if it's some really cheap IC, can't really bother doing the whole stuff, but if it's something you really want to reuse, whether it's the the chip or the board it's it's quite good it's, it's definitely it's it's worth getting this stuff um, it's one of those great great tools to have <laughs>